maybe South Africa, I don't know. You're speaking English, you can know English, but understanding the English is another problem. <laughs> Here, the angels came to Jesus and they came to Mary, personally to Mary, the angels. Luke 126 and they say, Look, Mary, you will bear a son, you will give birth, and all you conceive a son. You shall name him Jesus. So the angel knows the son should be named Jesus. The mother knows the son Jesus. God knows the son Jesus. That is Luke 126. The angel continues and says, Look, Oh Mary, you will conceive a son. You will name him Jesus. So Mary will name the son Jesus. God knows the son Jesus. Mary knows the son Jesus. The angels knows the son Jesus. And the angel continues and say, He will be great. And they shall call him the son of God. They shall call him the son of God. Not God, not Mary, not the angel. They, who are they? Another big question. The rebuttal time will come. <laughs> Those are not the wise men. That is why Allah says in the Holy Quran, chapter 18, verse 4, بَعْضَ عُوبُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذَيْنَ قَالُوا تَقَضَ اللَّهُ وَلَدًا مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ وَلَا لِعَبَائِهِمْ كَبُرَتْ كَلِمَةً تَخْرُجُوا مِنْ أَفْوَاهِمْ إِنْ يَقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَذِبًا the Quran has come to warn the people who say that Allah has a son or Jesus has a, is a son of God. The Quran says they have no knowledge. They are unlettered, the ones who say. They just speak out of their mouth what is very great and they know nothing. It's not me. Don't say I have abused anybody or I've spoken. I'm not insulting anyway. The Quran, if you want to get angry, get angry with this. <laughs> we come back. To that scripture. That is why when they asked Jesus about being the son of God, because the angel said, the angel said, because the angel said, what did the angel say? You shall call him Jesus. They shall call him the son of God. Who are they? That is why in Matthew 26, 62, when he came to us and Jesus was taken in front of the high priest and then he was taken in front of the high priest. What did, what, what did they ask him? The, the high priest told Jesus, I take an oath unto you and if tell us if you are the son of God. Jesus kept quiet because he's not one of those. <laughs> The Holy Quran teach the Muslims who is Jesus. I don't have time. Allah says in the Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 45, He says, Listen, O Mary, you will bear a son. You shall you will bear a son, and you shall call him Isa, Masihi, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary. That is why the Jews they know that Jesus has no father. They know that Jesus is not the son of God. What do they know? They know that Jesus is the son of Mary. In the book of Mark 6, verse 2, when the Jews came to Jesus and they said, don't you see, this is the son of Mary, the brother of Jacob and Simon. So this God has a brother named Simon and Jacob. You'll come and give me an answer if God has a brother or a sister. In Islam we know Allah has nothing like him. Quran, Surah 111, Surah Al-Tawheed, as you are speaking here. What does Allah say? Qul, say, Allah Ahad, Allah is one. Allah Samad, the most glorious, the most merciful. Allah, the creator, the sustainer. Allah, Lam Yalit, He never begets. Walam Yulat, never is begotten. Walam Yakul Lahu Kufun Ahad, and there is nothing likeness of Allah. Allah is Oma Immortal. Allah is complete. Fa'alun, Lema Yurid. He does what He does. This is Allah. Laysa Kamitli Hishayun, Wahua Samir al Basir. Chapter 42 of the Holy Quran, verse 11. We come. Allah says unto us that look, this Mary will give the, will, 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 will conceive a son. And this son will be named Masihi. Isa, the son of Maryam. Not God, not the son of Maryam. After, after Mary has conceived the son, what does Allah say? Rasul and Illa, Bani Israel. He will be a prophet unto the children of... How can a prophet be God? You want to make us laugh. <laughs> Secondly, he brought a verse from the book of Luke 646. 
that verse, Jesus. I wonder, the English came from America, but <laughs> and, uh, it has a problem a little bit anyway. <laughs> 646. Open your Bibles. The first letter, the first letter that comes from this word, Jesus says, not, 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 not N O T E. No, not N O T. This is a refusal or a denial phrase. Not that no one has seen God. Not that no one has seen God. Not that no one has seen God. That means God has never been seen. I add you another one as bonus. John 5 37. Jesus says, I bear witness and I tell you that God has never been seen. Or neither have you ever heard his voice. Neither have you seen his face. So God can never be seen. If you say you saw God, that is another big parable. <laughs> the Holy Quran says that Isa is Rasulullah, is a prophet unto the children of Israel. I just want to quote two verses from the Bible. Open your Bibles. The book of Matthew 11 verse 11. 11 verse 11. Jesus says from his own tongue and he speaks from his own mouth. He says that no one has been born by a woman who is greater than John the Baptist. Jesus said that there is no a woman there is no one who has been conceived by a woman who is greater or who is greater than John the Baptist. So anyone who, according to Jesus' tongue and words, no one has been born by a woman who is greater than John the Baptist. Jesus himself was born by a woman. In the book of John, Luke 2 verse 6, and when Mary, the woman, conceived Jesus Christ, so Jesus Christ was conceived. So who is greater? John the Baptist. According to the words of Jesus. Hallelujah. He came and said, Jesus is Lord. We don't deny. Let Jesus be Lord. Hallelujah. For your information, open the Bibles. The book of Numbers 11 verse 28. Even Moses himself was Lord. Is he God? When Aaron came to see Moses and he said, this is my Lord, Moses. Is Moses Lord? Is Moses God? No! Now clap for Moses. <laughs> if you open in the book of Matthew, in the book of Genesis 24, 26, Abraham was Lord. Abraham was Lord. So if Abraham is Lord, Moses is Lord, Jesus is Lord, why do you only put Jesus to be God? Why didn't you say Moses is Lord? Ah, oh, you're very unfair. <laughs> For your information, all the prophets are lords. Moses is Lord. Abraham is Lord. Muhammad is Lord. Jesus is Lord. But all of them, they have one Lord. Who is that? Lord that greater than them, God. Jesus, your Lord. Do you have another Lord? Jesus says, yes, I'm not Lord. I'm Lord like Moses, but I am not Lord that Jesse takes me for from America. No, I am not. Open your Bibles. The book of Mark 12, 29. One, one of the scribes came to Jesus and said, hey, how can we enter paradise? Jesus said, oh, listen, your children of Israel, your Lord. Our God is only one. Our Lord, our God is only one. English, not you are God. I, only one. Lord, no. Our God, our Lord is only plus who? Which Jesus were you talking about? The son of Mary? <laughs> he came and said, <laughs> He brought a verse from the book of John. John 8:57. Abraham said, before Abraham, be, uh, Jesus said, before Abraham I was. We don't deny. I am. Okay, I am before Abraham. I am. 
Even me, Ibrahim, I am before Abraham. Quran 7, 157. Secondly, in the book of Exodus 3.13, Moses asks the God, what name will I tell the children of Israel? He says, God said, tell them that I am whom I am. So if that is, I am, whom I am is my name, Exodus 6 verse 2, if they ask you my name, tell them Jehovah is my name, which is the right name. Who I am, I am, or Jehovah, come and ask question, which is his name? Who I am, or Jehovah? Secondly, Jesus himself is not divine, he can never be God, he can never be son of God. Jesus is man, like me and you. He eats, he sleeps. Okay, he's divine, he's God, according to you. Why should I be very, very troubled in this world? Because the Bible says, the Bible says, in the book of Psalms, 121 verse 4, that God never sleeps. He never sleeps. God of Israel never sleeps. The Quran says, Allah la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. La ta'akhudhu sinnatun wala naw. God never sleeps. But what did Jesus do? The book of 828, 823, the book of Matthew. When he was on board, then the disciples came and found Jesus completely asleep and snoring. <sighs> now, why should I be worried? I wait on the day of judgment. When he's sleeping, I get into paradise. <laughs> How can he be divine? How can he be divine? He's just like me and you. He was given birth to a woman. If you read in the book of Job 25 verse 4, no one can be God and no one can be God and no one can be light like God himself. The one who has been conceived by a woman. So if he has been conceived by a woman, he cannot be divine. The Bible says, so how can you come and say that Jesus is God? Our brother, Pastor David, he came here, he brought Isaiah 9.6. A woman has been born. A child, I mean, a child has been born. I'm sorry. A child has been born. He'll be the prince, and a prince is being the son of a king. But that verse says God. Jesus says that son is God. Again, he says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, that he brought his only begotten son. That, we, that is why, for God so loved the world, that he brought his only begotten son, that whoever shall believe. Okay. One side is God, the most confused people on the earth. One minute, God. Another minute, son of God. Another minute, the carpenter. Another minute, the sheep. Another minute, we are confused with him. Tell us the truth. For God so loved the world that he brought his only begotten son that whoever shall believe shall have eternal life. Okay. According to the Bible, according to his phrase, he said that God has sent the son. And that God is Jesus. Now this Jesus, who is God, which son did he send? Here. Which son? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother Sheikh Ibrahim Abdullahi. Thank you, thank you so much. I would again like to invite the first speaker for 10 minutes rebuttal, brother Jesse Jiggs from the United States of America. Brother, welcome. Thank you, Sheikh Ibrahim. Okay. Hopefully we can clear up misunderstanding because a lot of what is being uh, said is because of a lack of understanding of the of what 
We believe in what is taught in the scriptures. I told you in the beginning that you don't believe in the, the divinity of Jesus because you don't believe the scriptures and because you don't believe in the power of God. God is not a man. But there is no verse in the Bible where it says it is impossible for God at one time to come in the flesh or to send down His divine Word in the flesh. That's what you say because you don't believe the Scriptures. I quoted you John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word. He said, all of us are the Word of God. Bring a verse that says that. You read uh, Psalm 33, verse 6, which says everything is created through the Word of God. It doesn't say all of us are the Word of God. Is Adam... Jesus is like Adam in the sense that he had no earthly father. But is Adam ever called the Word of Allah? Is there any other prophet who is called the Word of Allah? No. Chapter 1, verse 2. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. All things were made through the Word of God, Isa. Now, I asked uh, Sheikh Ibrahim to explain to us is the Qur'an eternal? Is the mother of books eternal? If the mother of books is eternal, and it says in chapter 43, ayah 4 of the Qur'an, Allah says, this mother of books is with us. Which means there was a word, an eternal word, with Allah forever. Shirk, according to the Qur'an, or according to your idea, of Tawheed, except the word Tawheed is not even in the Qur'an. And over and over in the Qur'an, Allah refers to Himself as us, we. Matthew 28. Jesus said, go and baptize them in the name of the Father. One name, one divine being, three persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He proves my point. Now we are not saying there are three gods. We are saying there is one God eternally existing as three divine persons. Sheikh Ibrahim wants to reduce our knowledge of God to elementary school math. One plus one plus one, he said, equals two. I don't know which kind of math that is. We know that he meant three. One plus one plus one equals three. But even when you graduate in primary school, maybe you're in primary two or primary three, you learn about multiplication. One times one equals how much? One times one equals how much? God is more complex than your little brain. Now you think that God cannot be one God and three divine persons. Yet you say that God is omnipresent. Do you believe that God is everywhere? He said, right now we're in God. God is in me. I'm in you. God is everywhere, right? So God is right here with me on stage fully. That's His omnipresence. God is also next to Ibrahim, fully. God is also in America, fully. You explain that to me. Explain that to me. Maybe God exists in a way that you cannot comprehend with your little brain. Is it possible that God exists in a greater way than even you can understand? 